Good morning guys, so today is February 1st which means that the booktube games have officially started. So it's about half past seven in the morning for me and I'm just about to start reading my first book of the games. I'm starting out with my team's group book which for me is Strange the Dreamer because I'm in Team Hogwarts. So I've just made myself a cup of tea and I'm going to sit down and read this for a while before I go and make some breakfast. <laughs> hours now and I've managed to make it to just over 100 pages through Strange the Dreamer and as I think I've mentioned before I don't read a lot of fantasy novels so I wasn't exactly sure whether I would enjoy this book because it's so different from the stuff that I usually read but I'm actually really really enjoying it and particularly just loving Lani Taylor's writing style which I'm finding to be like very poetic and she's also just managed to pack so much detail into every single page so you're just finding out so much about this world and like every single page that you're reading is just so interesting. I have found though that because there's so much detail on every page I'm reading a little bit slower than I might normally just because I'm kind of like rereading passages as I go just to make sure I don't miss out on any of the important details but it is really really interesting and then I think the other thing that I'm finding really enjoyable about this book is that so far I'm definitely noticing some like Game of Thrones vibes throughout this book particularly because with Laszlo's character working in a huge library I'm just noticing some similarities between his character and Samuel Tarly from Game of Thrones when he goes to the Citadel and is working in the library there it just seems very similar which I'm really enjoying as well so yeah this is a great read so far I'm actually going to put it down for a little while now and go out and get on with some other jobs that I need to do but once I get home I'm really excited to pick it up again and read some more So I've just gotten back from doing all the little jobs I needed to do outside of the house and after going outside I'm literally convinced that today was the perfect day for the booktube games to start because at least where I am the weather is awful. It keeps like half snowing and then raining a little bit and then stopping but the weather is basically disgusting which means that all I want to do is stay inside and read and stay warm. So now that I've gotten back and I've just eaten some lunch I'm going to sit down and read some more of Strange the Dreamer. So it's about 4pm now and today just seems to be going really really quickly but I have just managed to make it to page 250 in Strange the Dreamer which I'm really happy about because my goal for today was to get about halfway through the book and this book is just over 500 pages long so I'm about halfway through now so I'm really pleased with that progress. Um, I'm probably going to read some more of the book later but I'm definitely going to take a little break for a while now. Um, so I'm definitely finding that this is the kind of book that gets even more interesting the further through it you get and I think partially that is just because um, as I said the book is very very like detailed and so at the beginning I was just kind of trying to get to grips with all of the like world and all of the elements that are part of this story and now that I'm sort of a bit more familiar with it I'm finding it a lot easier to understand and so it's even more interesting just because I'm not spending half my time just like figuring out what on earth is happening so yeah I'm definitely finding this a really really interesting read and even more so because after about page 100 we also get introduced to a second protagonist and the book sort of transforms from just Laszlo's perspective into a dual perspective narrative which is one of my favourite types of narratives so I was really happy to see that like development within the story. So yeah as I said I'm going to put the book down for a while now and take a little reading break but I'll probably pick it up later on. Good morning guys so today is day two of the booktube games and I'm currently on about page 360 of Strange the Dreamer and so far I'm really really enjoying it and I can't see that changing anytime soon. So um, I stayed up a little while last night and read to about page 300 and then I've just been reading a little bit this morning before I'm about to go and get some breakfast but yeah my goal for today is of course to finish this book which shouldn't be too difficult because I'm really enjoying it um, and it's just such an interesting book but I do have a slightly busier day today than I did yesterday so I'm not sure exactly what point in the day it will be when I finish this book but I'm definitely planning to finish this one today and then we'll see which book I fancy picking up after that later on. So it's now about 10 a.m and I've just got to page 400 of Strange the Dreamer and as I said before I'm really really enjoying the fact that it's now like a dual narrative story and I think that type of narrative is even better in this book than I've 
kind of ever experienced it before because I think the way that Lanny Taylor's writing in such a poetic way and sort of weaving these two narratives together is just so incredible and I'm finding it just to be a really really enjoyable way to tell this story so yeah I'm really enjoying it and I've got about a hundred or so pages left to read I'm just heading out now actually to meet my dad my brother and my grandma for a coffee so I'm gonna have to leave those hundred pages until I get back but I'm really really excited to see where the rest of this book goes because it's just so interesting okay so a slight change of plan Jay and I have actually decided that we're gonna head into town this afternoon to do a little bit of shopping so it means that I'm gonna have to wait until a little bit later to finish off Strange the Dreamer but I am super excited to go into town because it for me anyway I can't go into town without going into Waterstones to do a little bit of book shopping so I'm gonna head in there and see if there are any new books that I want to buy and then come home and finish off Strange the Dreamer later on So we've just gotten back from town and my trip to the bookshop was a little bit of a fail because they didn't have any of the books that I wanted in stock but I'm home now and I'm going to make some lunch and then get on with finishing up with Strange the Dreamer. So it's about 5pm and I've just finished up reading Strange the Dreamer which was definitely a 5 star read. I absolutely loved this book. It was amazing. So as I said it was just really beautiful all the way through. Um, I did find that it was like quite a slow burner most of the way through. It was definitely more like character driven than plot driven but within like the last 30 pages everything just really picked up pace and I literally felt like I was just holding my breath because everything was like clicking into place and it was just so intense but yeah absolutely loved this book and I've already ordered News of Nightmares which is the sequel because I just have to know what happens next and I'm just really excited to read that one too. So the next book that I'm planning on reading for the booktube games is Sadie by Courtney Summers um, which I've heard some really really great reviews for as well and this is like a YA thriller and it sounds really 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 interesting so I'm going to read this later on this evening and I'm really excited to see what I think of it. So we are now on day three of the booktube games and it's about 1pm and I haven't actually done any reading yet today. Um, I was babysitting last night and this morning so I didn't really have too much free time for reading so once I finished Strange the Dreamer I didn't actually end up picking anything else up but I'm no longer babysitting Jay and I have just been for a run and now that we're back I'm going to grab some lunch and then I'm planning to start Sadie by Courtney Summers which as I said yesterday I'm really really excited to read because I've seen some really great reviews of this book. So I've been reading for a little while now, I've obviously just taken a break to have a shower which is why my hair's all wet but I've managed to make it to 100 pages through Sadie and so far I'm finding this to be such a unique and interesting narrative style, it's very different from anything that I've come across before. So basically half of this book is written in the form of a true crime podcast so it's almost like you're reading a like script of the podcast episodes but then the other half of the chapters are just written in a like normal prose style and you're getting them from Sadie's perspective and then each chapter sort of alternates between Sadie's perspective and the podcast and so for me it's really interesting to see two very different narrative styles right next to each other and the fact that you keep jumping from one to the other is making the plot go really quickly and it feels like it's sort of quite fast paced. I think particularly compared to Strange the Dreamer which was a very like slow paced book this is feeling very fast but I'm finding it really really interesting and because it's a sort of mystery thriller about a murder and a missing girl it's obviously very compelling and you really want to find out more so it's really interesting particularly because Sadie is the missing girl and so you're sort of following her perspective but you still don't know what's going to happen to her. So yeah I'm finding this to be such an interesting book and I'm really enjoying the narrative style and the pacing is just really really interesting. So I'm actually going to be taking a break from reading for a while now because we're just about to play a game of Monopoly with Jay's family but I'm definitely planning to pick this up later on this evening because I'm just so interested by this story and I definitely want to read more. Morning guys, so it's about 8am on day 4 of the booktube games and I'm actually ready because I'm going out to a yoga class this morning but I've still got about half an hour before I need to leave so I'm going to get on with reading a little bit more of Sadie. Um, I didn't actually end up reading much more of it last night, I got to just over 100 pages um, but the Monopoly game that we ended up playing literally lasted like four hours and by the time we were done with that I was just so ready for bed so I didn't pick up the book again yesterday evening but I am really excited to read some more now so I'm going to read for the next half an hour then head out to my yoga class. <laughs> So it's currently about 8pm and I've been chipping away at Sadie throughout the day and I've just managed to finish the book this evening. So overall I'm going to be giving this book 4 stars because I found it to be a really interesting and compelling story. I think the best thing about the book for me was definitely the really unique narrative style which alternated between the perspective of a podcast and then the perspective of Sadie and for me this really sort of helped to keep the 
pace of the book feeling really fast right the way through and most importantly I found that it really added to the mystery element of the podcast because every time you're on the perspective of the podcast people you kind of feel like they're on the right trail and figuring out what's happening but then every time it jumps to Sadie's perspective you're very harshly reminded that they're actually not figuring out things fast enough and she's always two steps ahead of everyone else and that really reminds you kind of how isolated she is and how even though you're getting her perspective she's not really letting anyone in and you still don't exactly know what's happening so I think it really adds to the mystery and keeps you interested in sort of what's happening right from the beginning right to the end and so I found it to be a very compelling story the reason for me is not quite a five star read it's just because I feel like I was so invested in this story and then the ending felt to be a little bit unsatisfactory and I feel like you feel like the mystery isn't quite solved you kind of only get half an answer which for me was just a little bit disappointing but nevertheless it was a really interesting story that I found to be super compelling right the way through so if you're interested in mystery thrillers particularly I definitely recommend this read because it was super interesting. So because the last couple of reads that I've read were a little bit heavy, obviously with Strange the Dreamer being quite an intense fantasy and then Sadie being a very dark thriller, I'm fancying something a little bit lighthearted next time. So I'm going to be picking up Rainbow Rowell's Fangirl as my next read for the booktube games. Good morning guys, so it's currently day five of the booktube games and as I said last night, the next book that I was planning on picking up for the readathon was going to be Rainbow Rowell's Fangirl, but I've just had a delivery from Amazon and if it's what I think it is, then I'm definitely going to be changing my mind about which book to read next. Next, and yes, it is. So I've just got a delivery of Muse of Nightmares by Lani Taylor, which is the second book in the duology and the sequel to Strange the Dreamer. And I think I'm definitely going to be picking this book up next. I did try and find it in the bookstore the other day, but as I said, I couldn't find any of the books that I wanted, so I ordered it on Amazon straight away. But I wasn't expecting it to arrive until later in the week. But seeing as it's turned up early and I've just finished reading Sadie, I think I'm definitely going to pick this one up next, just because I only just finished Strange the Dreamer and I want to get started on this one while it's all still fresh in my mind. But yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up Fangirl after this one because I do definitely want to read that, but I'm just really excited to carry on with Strange the Dreamer and that story just because I loved it so much. So yeah, I'm going to get on with this this afternoon. <laughs> later. guys so it's currently day six of the booktube games which to me sounds kind of crazy because this first week just seems to be going so quickly but last night I did manage to make it to 100 pages through Muse of Nightmares and so far I'm really enjoying this book to me it kind of feels like basically an extension of Strange the Dreamer so far it doesn't really feel like a separate book at all because the story is kind of just picking up just where it left off so it feels like I'm just sort of continuing on with that book which for me is brilliant because I love Strange the Dreamer so much so just to get to continue that story is brilliant I'm actually not planning on doing any reading this morning because I'm heading out to a job interview but I am bringing my book with me and once the interview is over I'm going to be heading into town and either going to the bookshop or a cafe and doing some reading there so I'll be getting on with that once my interview is over. I've just gotten home obviously I had my interview this morning and then once that was finished I went into town and just sat in the cafe in the bookshop and read for a while so I read about another 100 pages of Muse of Nightmares so I'm now just over 200 pages through this book and I'm still really enjoying it I'd say compared to Strange the Dreamer the main difference for me is just that it's slightly more action-packed right from the beginning and the plot just seems to be a little bit more fast-paced whereas Strange the Dreamer was a very like slow burning book that was really interesting but it was just quite a slow paced book that was definitely more character driven this one seems a little bit more action-packed 
impact but other than that it feels very similar to Stranger Dreamer and I'm really enjoying it. Then whilst I was in the bookshop I also spotted a couple of books that I wanted to buy so I picked them up. So the first one that I picked up was The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater which is a book that I've heard quite a few things about and I keep seeming to find videos about the Raven Cycle series and I feel like I just have to read it because I've seen so many people say great things about it so I picked this one up which is the first book in the series and I'm probably going to try and get to this one at some point throughout the booktube games because I'm really keen to sort of start this series. Then the second book that I picked up is one that I know absolutely nothing about other than what it says on the cover and that is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw and I picked this book up because I read it and it said on the back that it's basically about some girls that are I think ghosts but they were drowned because people thought they were witches and at that point I just knew I had to buy this book because I was trying to find a book about witches and the Salem witch trials back in October because I thought it would be perfect for like a Halloween spooky read but back then I couldn't find anything that really sort of grabbed my attention and sounded like what I was looking for but when I read the back of this cover it just sounded exactly like what I wanted so I'm definitely going to give this a read at some point because it sounds super interesting. So yeah, those are the books that I bought now. I'm not going to be doing any reading for a little while because I'm heading out to my mum's to see her and my sister for a coffee but I'll definitely do some more reading when I get home later. Morning guys, so it's now day 7 of the booktube game so we're a week through the readathon and I'm currently about halfway through Muse of Nightmares. So I just got to about page 250-ish last night and I'm just going to go and do some more reading now. I actually have another job interview today but that's not until this afternoon so I'm going to spend the morning reading before I have to get ready. Um, and although I'm only about halfway through the book so far, all I'm thinking about is how I really hope that Laszlo gets a happy ending but part of me just really thinks that he won't. But I'm going to keep reading and see what happens. So it's the next day and I did manage to finish Muse of Nightmares nightmares last night and of course I gave it five stars because as I said it felt like an extension of Stranger Dreamer which I absolutely loved so it was great to be able to continue on with the story and the world and the characters and just go even further into the world and I absolutely loved it. I would say that I actually think I preferred Muse of Nightmares slightly more than Stranger Dreamer, only slightly but I think that just in general I prefer sequels to the original books because especially in fantasies I think obviously the original book has to do a lot of world building as well as all of the usual character development and sort of establishing relationships whereas when you go into a sequel all of that groundwork has been done and all of the characters are already established so you can kind of jump straight into the plot and I think that was definitely clear in this book because compared to the Stranger Dreamer which was quite slow paced this one definitely had a bit more action and kind of just jumped straight into the plot and it was just really interesting but I absolutely loved it and I'm so glad that I read both of them this week. So the next book that I'm planning to pick up for the booktube games is going to be Rainbow Rowell's Fangirl which I had planned to read before Muse of Nightmares but when that arrived I just had to pick that one up first but I'm really excited to read this just to get into something that's a bit more lighthearted and contemporary just for a bit of a change from the like darker heavier books that I've been reading so far this week. But I'm actually going to finish this vlog up here and start up a new vlog for week two of the booktube games so thanks for watching I'll see you next time.